Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours for you. Let's go ahead and jump in. If you also would like to get a personal reading at any point, make sure that you check out the description box where all my information will be listed. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified in the future. Alrighty, so... First card is going to represent the personal theme. I have the Nine of Swords in reverse. When it comes to the advice, I have the Page of Wands in reverse. The possible challenge, I have the Four of Swords. Car uh, well, yeah, Career and Finances is the Four of Wands. And then Love, we have the Knight of Pentacles. What is the overall theme for my Aquarius? Okay, so we have retreat to the natural world. Go where you feel most alive, a peaceful forest, the mountains, your local park. Let the ocean roar through you. Be revived by nature's wonder. All right, so right off the bat, you guys are needing to get grounded during this time frame. Whether that is you physically going into nature, if you've been disconnected, maybe, you know, not taking care of your energetic self and just being so caught up in work or your love life or just the everyday stresses of the world, <laughs> what will help you feel a lot more balanced or in tune is you taking care of yourself truly. A lot of understanding too could come from you guys like kind of sitting in nature. So if you've been in your head a lot or just having a lot of questions or doubts, maybe what you need is to go to the park. Maybe what you need is to go to the ocean or the beach, excuse me, go to the beach <laughs> so that you can really meditate and like clear, clear out this anxiousness. But kind of going deeper i do have the nine of swords in reverse representing the personal theme so you could be trying your best to stay out of a space of anxiety or worrying or allowing your mind to just kind of run rampant with all types of thoughts you could be having also a bit of an issue when it comes to sleeping or if it's not sleeping, you could have very strange dreams, like interesting dreams. Okay. But yeah, it almost feels like you guys are trying your best not to think the worst case scenario or to not have a certain thought be on replay in your head. Hmm. I'm also hearing like I need to put something to bed. So this could be a time frame in which you guys are really seeking closure. Seeking closure in terms of like a relationship with someone, seeking closure with a, a particular situation here. Now, going into the advice for you with the Page of Wands in reverse, uh, this is... Really asking yourself, what is stopping you from maybe putting yourself out there and experiencing new, new stuff, new newness in general? Because for a lot of you, you could be tired of like the same redundant energy or stagnant energy around your love life and around your career that in order for you to shift that, you're going to have to take a totally different approach or actually be open so the advice here is to not necessarily be in a space of irritation for why things are not a certain way, but get into a space of creating your opportunities instead of waiting for them to come. This is also staying away from doing things out of anger. Like you could have certain people who irritate you and there could be things that are kind of just said in the heat of the moment that you want to be careful of. 
Oh, and you're also going to have somebody who's possibly trying to come back, but more so for like a good time, not a long time. So setting boundaries. If you know that's not what you're necessarily looking for, this is not entertaining people who are not consistent or don't have that desire to be consistent. Now, the possible challenge, I do have the Four of Swords. So the challenge may be you, again, thinking a lot during this time frame, for one, but sleep. For some reason, sleep could be a challenge for you. Maybe you're going to bed with way too much on your mind and you're waking up with still this sense of anxiety because of it. Also, your subconscious, it just seems like there's certain things that exist within your subconscious that are irritating your spirit. The challenge could also be you being on a break period from someone. You and someone who you want to be in contact with still could be on break. Now, when it comes to love, let's talk about that for a second. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So for newer connections, this feels like things are gradually like working its way towards being something concrete and stable. The Knight of Pentacles is more of like a slower pinnacle in the deck or a slower energy than most of the other cards, to be honest but it's the most long lasting. So you could be building a strong bond with someone, even though it is taking some time for it to like solidify, it's still going to be a strong bond. And if there's an existing connection, it, it's almost like rebuilding or reworking that's, that's taking place. And it's going to take some time to do that as well. But you could be willing to put the effort in you and your person for my singles too, you could be wondering like, why is it taking so long for you to find somebody who's serious or mature or on the same page as you? So you could be just more so taking time out to just focus on you and your finances. Now, last card is going to represent the energy around finances and career. Let's talk about that. So yeah, a lot of you could be wanting to be an entrepreneur and make money solely off of that to where you can support yourself and your family. Um, if you're currently an entrepreneur, you could be trying to find different ways to, again, be able to support yourself. You could be working at a job where it's like this question of whether or not you should still continue to do this or follow your dreams, especially if it's more along the line of, like I said, entrepreneurship or you working from home. For my Aquarius too, who could be like in school or working towards some sort of career goal already, you could be having something to celebrate about pretty soon. This could be like graduating school. Okay, starting a career that's going to really stabilize you once you get the hang of it. The Four of Wands is really good energy. It, it speaks to stability. But these are just some of the things that I'm seeing. I hope that this reading did kind of give you some insight on what to expect for the next 72 hours. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs the video up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.